finite binary strings. Finite binary strings. Now we are getting closer to home. Finite binary strings, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But let me list this, the, the set of finite binary strings, and I emphasize the word list. And the moment I can list it, the finite binary strings, it means it's countable. So the finite binary strings B okay, is equal to the set. So we have the empty string. Okay, then we have 0, 1. Then we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, then we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. 1 0 0 1 uh, 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 and so on okay. I've chosen to list the binary strings the finite binary strings in a particular order so I'm starting with the shortest and then gradually increasing the length and within a particular length I, 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 I list them in order of increasing value so this value is 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay Mm. Zero, 01 oh i left one out here uh this would i left out zero, zero, 001 okay so now i have oh no i have it here okay zero, 01 2 3 zero, 01 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so those are the eight length three binary strings okay so interesting challenge get given a binary string b1 b2 b3 up to bk okay we can compute its value in the standard binary way show that the list position is equal to um, 2 to the length of the string 2 to the length plus the value of b1 b2 up to bk so I'm claiming that this is a formula for the list position of any given binary string. Okay, so prove it. Okay. And it's proved in the text. Okay. But it's a good exercise for you. But once I give you a, 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 an unambiguous way to compute the list position of any string, okay, then that and, and the list position of two different strings are different, then that means that I have a valid list. And so I've listed the finite binary strings, and so the finite binary strings are countable. Okay. They, the, they have a size, a cardinality, which is at most the cardinality of the natural numbers. Mm. Why do we care about finite binary strings? Okay. So, computer programs. A computer program. So you write your computer programs in whatever fancy language you want, C++, Java, Python, whatever. At the end of the day, this fancy program has to be converted to a bit string so that it can be represented to your, you know, CPU. Okay. So every, every computer program is a finite binary string. It's a finite string of bits. So every computer program is a finite binary string. Now, not all finite binary strings are valid computer programs, but in, in principle, you know, it could be treated as a computer program, any finite binary string, but it just doesn't do anything. It just doesn't work. Okay. So, but the valid computer programs, so the valid computer programs, programs, are a subset of the finite binary strings. And so that means that the size, the cardinality of the uh, valid computer programs is at most the cardinality of the finite binary strings, which is at most the cardinality of the natural numbers. Okay. <clears throat> okay, it turns out that, you know, the cardinality of the finite binary string equals, because you can also get an injection from the natural numbers to the finite binary strings. So here's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and so on. We can index, we can order, we can list the finite binary strings. What does that mean? That means that we can index, we can order, we can list the valid computer programs. Okay. Do we care? Yes, we care. Okay, but we'll see why later. So Cantor is looking at the state of affairs and it looks like everything has the same cardinality 
of the natural numbers. He's really trying to find something. He's really trying to find out whether there's any set, any set whatsoever, okay, which has a cardinality which is larger than the natural numbers. 